Hey, Lainey. What's up? So, you got back in town last night? Being a flight attendant sounds exhausting. I don't know how you do it. Hey, Henry. Yeah, I went back to San Antonio last night. About, um, I don't know, 10? It's hard to keep track of the time changes, to be honest. I started my day in the Pacific, and the other half I'm in the Central. Then I have my Boston cream pie and wake up at the crack of dawn, have my Dunkin' and do it all over again. Well, I couldn't do it. Not even when I was a young man. Well, I couldn't be a chef either. Number one, I can't cook. And number two, I couldn't handle the stress. I would rather deal with an irate customer over some drunk lunatic in the air any day. At least, I could just throw their butt out. You have to put up with them. Well, hopefully that will change, with the new flight restrictions coming on and all. More people will be on the do not fly list. We could finally get rid of these people. I wish I had something like that at my restaurant. Um, do not serve, or something. Maybe I should talk to the owners about that. Well, yeah, we had this one guy. I swear I thought you were going to have to duct tape him to the seat like those people on the news. Seriously? What was he doing? Just a total loudmouthed jackass, a drunk, of course. I seriously do not understand how there's so much booze floating around airports and planes. Just a recipe for trouble, if you ask me. And I know a thing or two about drunks and recipes. I've been in the restaurant business for 20 years. I can't wait to come to your restaurant. I can't believe I haven't been there yet. Well, I understand. It's not like your job doesn't take you places. I know, but still, I feel bad. Well, maybe I could make you feel... good? Oh yeah? You could, could you? Yeah. I mean, are we still on for our... date this afternoon? Your place, right? Um... Uh-huh. I don't like, um... unless I'm meditating. I'm sorry, Henry, it's not you. It's just that I'm coming down with something, and by coming down with something, I mean, I have it. I woke up at 4am with a splitting headache, shivering. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? Well, no, I guess not. I think it's just a bug. I think I'm gonna have to sweat it out. That's unfortunately an occupational hazard. But I don't think we should, um, you know. Hook up. Well, I guess you can call it that. Sorry. I guess that's kind of a rude term, isn't it? But, um, I don't quite know what else to call it. Well, we could always go by the old standard friends with benefits, no strings attached. All of the above, I suppose. Well, shoot. I was really looking forward to seeing you, but I just want you to feel better. I feel so bad. We finally got some time together and now I'm sick. It's not fair. Hey, there will be another time. Don't worry about it. I know, it's just... I'm so busy, and so are you. I don't want to lose touch, okay? We won't, I promise. Alright, because I do like you. I think this is all I can handle right now, relationship-wise. I mean, after Terry. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. No problem there, Lainey. We're totally on the same page. Okay, good. Well, I'm gonna take a nap, but um, text me later, okay? I will. You take care of yourself, Lainey. And please don't hesitate to ask me for anything. Okay, well, great, Henry. I will. Thanks. You're so sweet, you know that? I try. Hey, Lainey. What's going on? You back in town? Is your little chef boy toy coming over today? Hey, Avery. Not too great, to be honest. Yeah, I'm back in town, but I'm sick. Oh, no. Not again. Those planes are germ farms, I'm telling you. Were you wearing a mask? Yeah, I was wearing a mask, Avery. I always do. All right, fine. I'm just asking. So I assume Loverboy isn't coming over then? No. Unfortunately not. I had to tell him I was sick. And how did he handle it? Well, he was disappointed, but he was so sweet about it. I mean, you were disappointed about it too, though. Yeah, I was. But he offered to bring me anything I needed. Isn't that sweet? Um, yeah. You said that. I said what? You said he was sweet. Twice. I did? Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice. So, uh, um, Lainey, are you maybe... Yes? Do you think you could possibly be... What? Um, maybe a little bit sweet on him? 
Sweet on Henry? Well, what do you mean? I mean, you know, do you kind of like him? Well, yeah, I like him. He's my friend. Friends with benefits, remember? I know, I know. I'm just saying, be careful. What do you mean? What should I be careful about? I just don't want you getting hurt is all. These friends with benefits relationships, they can be rather tricky to navigate. Yes, yes, I know. Spare me the lecture. You've just already been through enough bullcrap with Terry. It's okay. You can say his name. Okay, Terry. Yes. And I don't want you getting hurt. Just relax, okay? I'm fine. You're sick. Yeah, well, Henry isn't the one who got me sick. So do you need me to bring you anything? No, no, I'm I'm fine, honest. All right, hun. Oh, you know who I saw at the grocery store the other day? Michelle Lance. Oh, Michelle Lance, huh? Yeah, remember? She's James's sister. She was friends with Terry. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. What? Well, I just keep bringing, you know, him up. I do understand that there's going to be people in the world who know him, Avery. It's okay, I'm over all of that. Really? Well, pretty much, I'm getting there. Do you think that maybe this relationship with Henry is a part of that? Are you trying to move on? Well, I don't know. It's time will tell, I guess. All I know is that I'm definitely ready to. I don't need that guy taking up any more real estate in my mind. No, you don't deserve that. And he didn't deserve you. He was just jealous. He couldn't handle you being gone all of the time. And it's not like he had a job to occupy his paranoid mind. Yep. He pretty much sat at home all day and made up stories about me, didn't he? If he was to be believed. You had a boyfriend in every city in the country. God, he's totally insane. Let's move on from him. Yeah, good idea. So what about you? You got any hot dates coming up? Oh, you know me, babe. Just me and myself. Uh-huh. And you're giving me lectures about my love life? Hey, who said I was giving lectures? I know, I know, not lectures. Helpful and friendly advice. That's right, friendly advice. Because I'm your friend. Not friends like you're friends with the chef, but... Yeah, in your dreams, Avery. Wait, in my dreams what? In your dreams, would you and I be friends with benefits, even if I did like you that way? That's okay, Lainey. I already have my own friends with benefits. James, remember? James? James doesn't hold a candle to Stellan. Stellan could beat James in a checkers match any day. A checkers match? That's right. He was a fourth grade checkers champion. And he could cook. He's the best cook, an amazing cook. I thought you said you hadn't had any of his foods yet. I've had it in my dreams, though. Um, okay, Lainey, I think you may have a fever. Why don't you go lie down or something? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I am a little shaky. Are you sure you don't need me? Drink some water. I'm fine, I'm fine, but I did just mix up Dayquil and Nightquil, though. Oh, jeez. We'll go to bed right now. Go close your eyes. Okay, will do. Okay, well, let me know if you need me. All right, babe? Jeez. Will do. Thanks, hun. Well, hello there, Cupcake. Terry? Who else be calling you Cupcake? Cupcake? Terry, I, I haven't heard from you in a while. A long while. Yeah, real long while. I'd say it's been too long. I'd say it hasn't been long enough. I'd say never wouldn't be long enough. So, how you been? How's the friendly skies been treating you? They've been treating me just fine, Terry. Especially fine since I've been in them without you in my life. Come on, don't you ever miss me? No, I don't. Not ever? Nope. But would you even tell me if you did? No, Terry, I probably wouldn't. Aha, uh -huh, I thought so. Well, what do you want? Today's not exactly a good day for whatever this is. This isn't anything, I swear. I just need a favor from you. Okay, what do you want? Well, not really a favor. More like an obligation. An obligation? What do you mean by that? Actually, it's just I'd love to belt buckle there. I was wondering if I could come by and pick it up. That is, if you're in town. A belt buckle? In my house? Yeah, you remember the one with a K-E on it? Yeah, I remember it. How could I not? 
That was my daddy's belt buckle. He passed it on to me, you know? Yes, yes, I've heard that story many times. Mama wanted him displayed in his coffin with it. Then afterward, before they buried him, she pulled it right off him. Damn near tipped the whole casket over. I remember the story. Unfortunately, it's hard to forget. Well, can I come and get it then? It'll just take a few minutes. I'll just be in and out, I promise. There's no belt buckle here, Terry. What? What do you mean there isn't? I don't know what else to tell you. There's no belt buckle here. Well, of course there is. I left it there. I just told you that. Where else could it be? Terry, we broke up a year ago. And you still think I have a belt buckle at my house? My daddy's belt buckle. That's even more suspicious. Suspicious? How is that suspicious? Well, if this thing meant so much to you, why are you just now realizing that you lost it? I, I don't know. I just am. So what? I don't wear it all the time, you know? You know how long that thing has been in my family, right? Well, it was your dad's, so one generation? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Look, Terry, my house isn't that big, and I've cleaned top to bottom twice since then. I'm telling you, your belt buckle isn't here. You remember that time he gave it to me, my daddy? It was right before he died. Uh, yes. He said, son, this is my belt buckle. It has my initials on it. I had it made in Nashville in 1973. I want you to cherish it. Every time you unbuckle your pants, now you think of me. Whoa, what? I don't remember you telling me that. Yep, it's true. Isn't that sweet? That's only something a father who really loves his son would say to him, you know? Uh, sure, I guess so. The funeral was so sad. Terry. All the little grandkids surrounding the casket, asking why their poor old papa wouldn't wake up. Okay, look, Terry. It's been a real treat taking this stroll down memory lane with you. But I'm not exactly feeling very well right now, and I don't have your dad's belt buckle, okay? You... you aren't feeling well? What's wrong? I just... I must have picked up a virus on the plane. Well, were you wearing your mask? Yes, I was wearing my mask. Why does everyone keep asking me that? Well, we care about you, that's all. Wait, who else asked you? Your boyfriend? Are you seeing someone? That's none of your business, Terry. I was talking about Avery. Oh, Avery, huh? How is Avery? Is she seeing anyone? Why, are you interested in her or something? I don't know, I might be. What's it to you? Ha! Huh. What's so funny? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's just that, well, I think I would stand a better chance with Avery than you would. Oh, really? Is that so? And why is that? Well, to be honest, Terry, she knows what her relationship was like. She had front row seats for it. Oh, yeah? Well, I had season tickets. And what does that mean? It just means that I know what it was really like. Oh, and enlighten me. What was it really like? It was like you being gone all the time, leaving me to my own devices. Your own devices? Or your own vices? Or both? You know what I mean. Well, I'm sorry, Terry, but somebody had to be the adult in the relationship. Somebody had to pay the bills. I paid my own bills. Your mother paid your bills. And the rest, I usually ended up covering for you. Not to mention all of our dinners or anything else. Well, I thought we had an unspoken agreement or something. Oh, really? An unspoken agreement? What was left unspoken? What did you say? Well, you know that I would take care of your car. You know, any upkeep and stuff. The dealership does that, Terry. It's a rental. Well, whatever. I would have if you needed me to. Uh-huh. And what else? Well, I mowed your lawn and watered your flowers that time you were going to be gone for an extended trip. You mowed once and then let it grow. When I got back, it was up to my calves, and you watered my flowers once, too. They were all dead in three days. Well, at least I put some effort into it. I'm tired, Terry, and I'm stoned from NyQuil. I'm going to sleep. But, but I need my belt buckle, Lainey. Hey, Lainey. Just checking up on you. How are you feeling? Any better? Ugh, no, not really, Henry. Honestly, I feel way worse. Way worse? Oh no. What now? Is it the fever? Is it higher? <sighs> oh no. I don't know how much you really want me to get into it. Into what? Well, something having to do with an ex-boyfriend of mine is all. Oh. Something recent? Well, not someone recent, if that's what you're asking. We broke up over a year ago. Then what's the problem? He was texting me earlier, totally out of the blue. Well, when was the last time you talked to him? The day I dumped his ass and kicked him out of my house. So you two were living together then? Oh no, he just had some stuff at my house. But believe me, he wanted to move in. So, he was in love with you, huh? 
just couldn't let you go. Well, he wanted to move in, so then he could stop hounding his mother for rent money. So he was just going to stick you with the rent? Well, there's no way that he could help out. It's not like he had a job. Terry just sat on his butt playing video games all day. So why were you with him then? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. Why is anyone in a bad relationship? It just happens sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. I guess I just try to be a little more, um, careful. I'm sorry. That came out bad. I didn't mean it like that. I actually mean it like... Well, wait. How did I mean it? Are you being careful with me? Maybe that's what you meant? Oh, um, careful with you. What do you mean? I mean, are you trying to maneuver this into something else, or...? Maneuver what into something else? I'm sorry, I'm not following. Nothing, never mind. So, what was it this time? What did Terry want from you? Oh, Terry, right. Well, he claimed to have left something at my house a long time ago, and he wanted to come pick it up. Today? I don't know, I think so. Well, what did he say that he forgot? Some belt buckle, can you believe that? A belt buckle? Yeah, a belt buckle with big brass initials on it. He has his initials on his belt buckle. You have got to be kidding me. No, no, not his initials or his belt buckle, really. It was his dad's. Well, maybe it's at his dad's house then. Um, I don't think so. He's dead. Oh, okay. Well, I take that back then. But still, I don't have it. There's no way that that stupid belt buckle is in my home or anywhere near it. So why do you think that he's convinced you have it? I don't know. You're the guy. Does he really believe the belt buckle is there? Or has he just convinced himself of it as an excuse to come here and start trouble with me? Well, it's hard to say. You said it was his dad's. Because fathers and sons, that's something you don't want to touch. Yeah, I get that, but it's not here. There's just no way. I had an ex like that. Really? You did? Like a crazy one who pined after you? Oh, yeah. She even sits outside my house sometimes. Oh, really? Wow, that's pretty bad. It only happened a few times, but still. And it was crazy because we only dated for, like, a month. Well, you must have made quite the impression. Yeah, well, I guess so. So did she in the end. How did she meet her? She was in my jujitsu class with me. She was my sparring partner. Oh, you know jujitsu? Yep. I mean, a little. I mean, I'm just a blue belt, but... Still, that's way more than I know. In fact, I don't know any. Well, I look at it as more of a sport. It would only be for self-defense or defense of another individual if absolutely necessary. Uh-huh, I see. So a chef who knows jujitsu. Pretty cool. Well, you aren't so bad yourself there, lady. Oh yeah? What am I, a flight attendant with the flu? Well, yeah. But there's worse things you could be. But are there worse things that you could feel like right now? No, I don't think so. Oh, believe me. You can have a lot worse than the flu. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, malaria for one. Wait, you had malaria? I did. Once when I was much younger and idealistic. Well, how did you get malaria? And where? I was in Kenya, fighting off the big game hunters on permanent safari. Wait, so you fought those rich guys who killed elephants and stuff? Fought? Well, that's assuming that they always fought back. Oh, I see. But that was a long time ago. Decades, in fact. You've lived quite the life, haven't you, Henry? Well, it has been interesting. But I think I may be winding down. Winding down? What do you mean? Your life? Are you dying? No, no, no. Nothing like that. But, well, I guess, I mean, I'm a little bit closer to settling down. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Of course I do. It's no fun getting older, especially when you're afraid that you may have to face it on your own. Yeah, I guess so. Well, um, so anyway. Yeah? So I'm going into the restaurant in a few hours. Are you sure that you don't need anything? 
I can stop by the pharmacy, too, if you'd like. Anything you want, okay? Okay, well, thank you, Henry. I really do appreciate it. You're so very sweet. Hey, anytime. What are friends for, right? Hey, Lainey. Just checking up on you. How are you feeling? Hey, Avery. Well, good and bad, you know. Oh, okay. So your flu is better, then? Uh, well, no, it's pretty much exactly the same. But I've been talking to Stella. Oh, yeah? That's great. But also, I've been talking to Terry. Well, he's been talking to me. Wait, Terry? What did he want? What else? To hound me. Yeah, but still, you haven't heard from him in so long. I know, and guess what he wants? His belt buckle. Belt buckle? He claimed to think that he left some stupid belt buckle with his dad's initials on it here. It's his excuse to come over here and start crap, I promise you. Well, do you think you could possibly have it there somewhere and you just didn't realize it? Uh, no. Believe me, I set fire to all this crap as soon as he left. Seriously? You burned all of his stuff? Well, no, not literally. It was a metaphorical fire. You know, like, well, whatever, I'm on NyQuil. Still with the NyQuil? Well, it does seem to be working. I do feel a lot better. But how much of that has to do with Chef Boyardee? Oh god, are you serious, Avery? No, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. You're gonna feel pretty stupid when you meet him and see how hot he is. Oh, when I meet him, huh? Usually you don't talk that way about friends with benefits, you know, hon. Well, why not? Wouldn't you ever introduce me to James? Um, no. Believe me, I would not introduce you to James. Well, why not? There is a reason that friends with benefits rarely become boyfriend material, Amy. Well, there are exceptions. So it's true, huh? You really are into him. Who said that? I didn't say that. Oh, come on, Lainey. Out with it. Do you think the chef is boyfriend material or what? Well, he's so sweet, so maybe. But I don't know. Time will tell, I guess. And what about Terry? Uh, what about him? Well, what are you going to do if he keeps on bugging you? I don't know. Just ignore him, I guess. I mean, what else can you do with a person like that, right? Yeah, but what if he will not be ignored? Lainey, hello? I still need my belt buckle. Hello? Oh, so you just aren't going to answer me now, huh? Well, that's too bad. Maybe you're asleep or something because, uh, I'm in the neighborhood and I figured I'd stop by. What? Oh, so now I got her attention? So she is awake, huh? I knew it, you little liar. You were just ignoring me. Well, I'm not going to be ignored, Lainey. You better not come over here, Terry. I freaking mean it. Oh, yeah? Or else what? I'm just coming over to retrieve my stolen property. Well, or else I... I have a gun now, you know. Oh, really? You have a gun now? You? Since when? Since... since I kicked your ass out, that's when. So you were afraid of me even back then too, huh? No, and I'm not afraid of you now. I just didn't know you were such a little psycho back then. So all of a sudden, you just took an interest in guns, huh? A girl who could barely figure out how a squirt gun worked? Well, times are changing. Girl has to defend herself these days. Well, if you really are packing heat, how about you come up to your front window and flash your piece at me? What? What do you mean? You're out front? That's right, babe. I'm right on your front porch. I'm calling the cops. Get away from my house right now. Oh, so you aren't going to come out with this gun of yours, huh? I knew you didn't have one. Get away from my house right now. Oh, who's this guy pulling up? A plainclothes officer? Well, that was a pretty quick response. And I have to hand it to them. A plainclothes officer? Awesome guy walking towards your house with a bread basket and a thing for soup. <laughs> oh no, Henry. He's even got orange juice. Who is this clown? Your new boyfriend or something? Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Terry, don't. Hey, Lainey. How are you feeling? Hey, Henry. Oh, thank God. I'm fine. The more important question is, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm good. We're just down at the police station, clearing a few things up. But he didn't hit you or anything, right? You weren't hurt. He took a big swing and a big miss. My knees are just a little cramped up from holding him on the ground. Nothing major. Well, I mean, you just came out of nowhere. And what are all those moves you laid on him? I've never seen anything like that. Well, I started out with the guillotine choke, then moved him down into a paper cutter, slid into a super dave, 
and then finished him off with a Peruvian necktie. Well, it was all very impressive. Is he alive? Oh, yeah. He's alive and under arrest for suspicion of aggravated menacing. They want to know if you want to press charges. Well, hell yeah, I want to press charges. So, I can imagine in all the excitement, you didn't get a chance to try the chicken noodle soup. Oh, I did, and it's outrageous, Henry. Oh, you did? Awesome. I made it from scratch. And the bread? Incredible. And the orange juice? It's freshly squeezed, you know? Thank you so much. So maybe when I'm feeling better, um, you could show me how to do that. Do what? You know, freshly squeeze the oranges. Oh. Oh! Um, yeah, sure. Uh, a nice, friendly juicing lesson. Yes, very friendly indeed. Laney pressed charges against Terry, and he ended up serving three months in jail. As a precaution, she took out a restraining order against him, although she didn't believe it would make a difference. Her new boyfriend, Henry, skilled in the martial arts and knife techniques, proved to be a more defective deterrent. Fed up with the aviation industry's stress, Laney left the business and became a host, eventually co-managing Henry's restaurant. Every other Sunday, they cook a large brunch for all of their friends, including Avery and James. 